Hi there, welcome to English Digital. Today, let us see as to how we can write and publish a blog on WordPress using Bing AI, right? Bing AI chat. So we're going to see how we're going to, from scratch, do the keyword research, create the blog titles, and post a SEO blog on WordPress. So I'm going to show you an example. So it's a very interesting video, a useful video for all bloggers and all aspiring bloggers. So stay tuned and let's get started right away. Okay, firstly, let us, to this blog, I'm going to write a blog on fitness. So let us choose a topic on fitness. So for that, let us type on Bing. Now the Bing AI, before we start on the keyword research, let me show you how you access Bing AI. You go to the Bing Microsoft Bing browser, type Bing AI, and you choose the Bing AI here. Once you click this, you'll come and you need to sign up and the email and all of that. And once you do that, you'll end up with this dashboard screen here. And here you have, you know, three options. Okay, you have the more precise option to get answers. You have the most balanced approach and you have the more creative approach. And this, uh, for our tutorial, we're gonna use the creative approach because it um, gives you um, more, uh, let's say, creative answers to the questions you prompt in for the AI chat, okay? So let us get started. And um, like I told you, it's a fitness blog, so let us ask being AI, give me the top 10 keywords. for exercise okay for workouts let's put it this way for workouts for gym workouts for gym workouts top 10 keywords for gym workouts okay let us click enter and let's see what being ai has in store for us so being ai it runs on GPT-4, it's connected to the internet and it's totally free, not like ChatGPT where you're pay $20 to get the uh, up-to-date you know, GPT-4 and the internet access is free and uh, it's, it's a Microsoft product. So it's uh, you can compare this with ChatGPT-4, both are equally good and accurate. So I use this because it's very um, professional and gives me a lot of citations and references and it's very accurate. So that's what I use. So we got, you know, top 10 keywords for gym workouts. So, um, okay, CrossFit near me. Okay, let us use this keyword here, CrossFit. A lot of people know what CrossFit training is. So let us pick up <coughs> this key phrase and let us ask Bing again, write 10 or let's say five blog topics for the keyword CrossFit near me. So when I click enter, let us see what Bing has in store for us. <coughs> so we're doing the keyword research from Bing. Now all these keywords are from Bing's database. So most searched keywords from Bing database. So we did the keyword research and we asked Bing, we chose a keyword. We don't have the exact, we can ask Bing if we want the volume of the search it will give. But in this case, we just pick up a phrase and uh, we asked, uh, you know, Bing again as to uh, the best topics for this CrossFit, but again, if you want to get a volume, let's say, um, just copy this, the volume of search, can you give me the monthly volume of search for the below Keywords. Let's put this. You paste this. Let's see what Bing AI has in offer for us to uh, give a search uh, volume. Let us see. Okay, it is uh, searching from its database. Let's see what it has in store. So, like I told you, uh, you can do the full uh, keyword research. And um, uh, see, it's giving you the volume. So um, if I should, I would have, I should have put this prompt right in front. Actually, uh, the first um, um, right here. You know, when I did this part, but I missed it. So I just for your information, I'm just pulling out the stats as well. So it's useful. So here, CrossFit near me, you get 100. 
10,000 global searches every month and 18,000 the UK wide. Well, specified in the UK, I do not know, but um, so you can pick the keyword based on the volume here. So either you can write for high keyword, uh, let's say um, searches, or you can pick. Uh, some with something like medium uh, 110 is good for me uh, searches a month so even spinning class 40,000 so probably gym and gym and gym near me every millions of people might be writing blogs on that so it's very difficult to compete so you might do better when you choose um, a keyword which is let's say keyword phrase which has over 100,000 searches um, and uh, there is a market for that right so if you, you'll be lucky if you get the 100,000 visitors to your blog but even if you get five or ten thousand uh, then you've done a good job you know you can you serves a purpose so um, this is how you do a, you know a, a keyword research on Bing and finding its volume and you know and based on that you pull up the topics right so here in this case we are pulled out of the topic so we asked uh, Bing um, five blog topics for crossfit near me and it gives us you know five topics here let us see which topic we can choose you know that is your personal choice not like one topic is better than another so this is more of a location based how to choose the best crossfit gym near you <clears throat> the benefits of joining a crossfit community what to expect from your first crossfit class crossfit was other types of gym workouts which one is right for you crossfit can help you achieve fitness goals how can crossfit okay this is a good topic it's more of a general topic um, for any beginner who's looking to start crossfit uh, training so i choose this one here how crossfit can help you achieve your fitness goals so we select this topic we go to bing again and we tell bing okay write um, 500 words or let's say 750 words blog post on you always use this uh, inverted the comma so it's clearly specifying to the Bing chat that this is the you know the title that you want the blog post written for okay so you can choose the word count um, it won't be perfect sometimes when you choose 750 you might get a 600 word blog sometimes you choose 500 you might get a 400 word so I just choose so I want my blog post to be between 500 and 750 so I mentioned 750 so I might get sometimes more or less so just to be on the safe side I choose 750 so when you ask Bing we click enter and let us let Bing do its magic let us wait for a couple of seconds now see Bing has uh, started writing the blog for you okay so um, this actually it's a fresh content and most times if you do even a plagiarism check on this um, it will be in the high you know 90s uh, plagiarism free so um, that's a big advantage here uh, in using uh, the Bing Chat AI where you can get actually a fresh article and it gives you references as well and uh, um, it's a very nicely structured article you know with the headings subheadings you can see how it's writing the article so they will wait for Bing to complete write, to complete uh, writing this article then we'll go into the next steps so uh, now Bing has completed writing this article as you can see Okay, so I don't know if it's 150 words, uh, the word count is not mentioned. So, um, okay, now you have this option as well, and it gives you another suggestion here. And uh, can you add some images and videos to the blog post? And if you want to um, get some video ideas or image ideas, actually, um, you can click this as well. But before you click there, let us just copy this. Okay, first, just let us set up this uh, content. Uh, on the wordpress website so uh, you don't want to lose any information okay so as you know you come to the wordpress dashboard here how to post a blog let us go through the steps you know it's very easy so this is the website <coughs> so if you have wordpress website this is the website and from here you can log into the uh, dashboard with your vp login and from here you go to post Go to all posts and you can check your posts or it's my past posts on this website and from here i add add new post okay you can do this um, uh, in a quicker way by you know let me show you that okay um on top as well so um in this case this is the screen this is the uh blog posting uh, um uh, let's say the template so here we can paste the uh, title and the Yoast plugin has been set up for this uh, WordPress uh, dashboard blog. So let's go back to the blog here. We click the whole thing, copy. Here you get this option, copy here on the Bing chat. So you don't have to 
manually copy paste you can copy paste from here or if you want you can download this uh, to your computer as well and um, copy it so either way uh, it's a choice so I copy the post and uh, quickly we have to do edit here because uh, certain areas we copied uh, you know as it'll, it'll copy the text as it's shown uh, on the Bing chat you remove the separator then you can add the titles here okay you make this h2 heading we make this uh, H3 normally I see your post you don't have everything as H2 have one of H2 H3 you can have uh, probably you can have this also as uh, you know H3 uh, there's no hard and fast rule but have a canonical order as uh, how you do it and probably okay we can have this as H4 and uh, this one as H5 okay now the text for this, uh, for the text sizes, you want it to be the same. The heading will be that, but you can change the block. You can make it to you know the same size as the H1, okay? Or not the H1, sorry, the H2, the same size, medium. So you can have the all the block titles, uh, even though it's H2, 3, and 4, and 5, all at the same font size. By going to this, here you get the post by clicking this block option, you choose medium. And conclusion, just you know, the copy pasting did not come out well there so you just have to do an edit make sure that is in place let us do quickly rush through that okay and the conclusion you can put as a heading or you can just even bold it and keep it so um, so whatever grammar errors you see you can just quickly correct it let's remove the spacer here and the focus keyword here is CrossFit okay since we're talking about CrossFit we want to rank for CrossFit you choose the focus key phrase you paste it there bam so the whole idea here is uh, you don't have to make this green but if you make this green it's it's a big plus point because um, then you got all your parameters in place so the title and the meta description I set it in the Yoast plugin uh, for the title and the meta to auto appear uh, so, so I don't have to put it again so to make this uh, green so we need to you know um, uh, at the image had a few links so links are very important when it comes to you know blogging so external links I have another you know, small hack for you there so what you can do for external links is the blog title you copy this blog title again and ask uh, chat Bing Bing AI uh, to write uh, you know um, five online MLA citations you know citations when you go to Wikipedia you see every content referenced so basically uh, you can use MLA Harvard or APA anything you know any any form of citation <coughs> Google likes reference content right five o o online MLA citations for this content same same formula same uh, prompt you click enter and let us see what uh, Bing chat AI has to offer Give me a couple of minutes, uh, not couple of minutes, about three, four seconds. Uh, now you can see uh, Bing AI giving actually uh, reference, um, online reference material related to this blog title. Okay, now once you put this uh, blog, uh, when you put this, uh, you know, content on in the blog, um, you're going to give your blog more authority. Okay, so we're going to copy this. We're going to go back to the blog and we're going to paste this here okay so here we're going to just you know, rename this as work cited so work cited it's very straightforward work cited and we are going to you know you need to make the links appear so you need to remove this full stop here very important because uh, by default that full stop appears and uh, the link will not open up if you don't remove that so very important uh, and you need to put the insert the link by just highlighting this and clicking this link so once you start highlighting automatically WordPress will show this uh, uh, link icon so you need to just highlight the entire URL and click the link icon there automatically you get the link built on this blog so this is external link building and it's a reference external link building and it's a very powerful method for SEO so um, always keep that in mind uh, it's a very very useful um, uh, um, external linking methodology then uh, you need to put an internal link where you can just you know probably I have passed you know a lot of blogs on this website so I'm just going to click this and 
click the i the link icon and search for any related keyword okay for this keyword any related past blog so what is the best time of the day for workouts so i have one blog here so i just choose this and i that's the internal link for this blog is linked to another blog related to workout so that's how you build your internal and uh, you know um, external link on this blog okay now so you don't have to worry about this actually because google does not know <laughs> is yoast uh, being red or green or blue it's just that you know um uh, uh yoast has its own uh, thing here the problem is the key phrase density uh, it was found 43 times so the blog length 27 is recommended so if i change that this thing will come green but here unfortunately um the work cited the work cited uh, um uh, this crossfit keyword ap appears here uh, so um that's not an issue that's not a big problem because most of the, the if you check this crossfit keyword is naturally uh, uh, uh you know included in this article if you remove this uh, uh, crossfit then um, you might get a different meaning or some sort of other workout so just keep it as it is nothing to worry about that nothing to worry about yours you just take the main areas you just focus on the title the slug once you click uh, once you type save draft automatically a slug also will appear then um, you know that is sorted meta description you can give one meta description or you can just set it as default so it just pick up the first uh, uh, you know from here pick up the first para of uh, the and you make you make sure you mention the keyword in the first para uh, crossfit you mentioned you already so that's that's enough for that that matter and you just be need to build the uh, <laughs> internal and uh, external links on the blog then you're all all good to go so here then we'll quickly look for an image okay well so let's quickly put an image for this blog so for the image i'm using canva if you want a link to canva uh, the link is in the description you can um you know, click the link in the description and um, choose um, um, sign up for canva and get a lot of you know that free and a paid uh, um, email premium account as well i have premium account so i have access to unlimited assets but if you want a free uh, um let's say uh uh, uh, account as well you can get access to a lot of useful images and it's very high, good quality and you can adjust the size and all that you can play a lot uh, with the uh, you know the uh, canva uh, platform so uh, let us uh, you know jump into uh, you know just we we'll chose this image here say this background really quickly um, download this so we don't want png we choose J and jpeg and make it a lower resolution because you don't want heavy images on the website which is slow down the page so 25 is good so quality and you click download okay so the image will download so once the image downloads we will select it uh, on the blog and uh, we'll post it so I selected this image as you can see I have selected this image um, um, for this uh, uh, blog and here you can keep the keyword uh, CrossFit CrossFit uh, training, all text is very important. You correct the, uh, um, you know, you uh, put in the keyword all text here if you want. You can uh, put the title as well here. Okay, captions, descriptions, your choice you want to add, you can add it. See, I chose a JPEG uh, low res, not a low resolution, a compressed version of this image, just a 17KB, which is um, good, more than enough for this website. You set it as featured. And yes, the blog is now good to go with the featured image and uh, here we are talking about workouts so we choose workouts blog category we're gonna go as uh, uh, tags you can just put the crossfit as a tag let's copy this uh, tags are useful for people searching for content on the website if your search function enabled someone comes and searches for crossfit they land on all the blogs on crossfit okay so easy for them to search so this all the blog is good to go with the featured image with all the links tags so let us go ahead and publish this blog now okay then to publish you click the work you click publish here and yes and you publish it so once you publish the blog let us view post yep here we go this is a blog how crossfit can help you achieve your fitness goals and we have the blog here and you can see the links also here the links are not highlighted but uh, it's it's working you see i need to put up a code to it's um, you know show the uh, link highlight for some there are probably a bug on the side we can i can probably correct i'll correct that so see the side is linked to other sites as well so uh, uh, that's the beauty of certain affiliate links on the website um, 
um, on this website the image if you go to the home page I disable image on um, the blog page um, due to uh, I want my affiliate uh, banners to be more prominent so that's where I remove the image but you can get the image it's the blog we posted on top so somebody lands on the home page they can access it or somebody directly lands on search and finds his blog they can uh, access it so uh, that is the um, you know the way uh, to uh, post um, a blog on WordPress and here the key is we are complete we are used being AI chat to completely do all the work for us from keyword research to blog title um, uh, creation to blog creation then we post the blog on WordPress and we publish it so uh, um, that's the uh, message I want to give uh, or the tutorial um, based on how to write a blog using uh, uh, being AI chat if you like this video give it a like and do subscribe to my channel and kindly do share this video with your friends and uh, stay stay tuned for more interesting videos and tutorials like this in the future so until next time it's bye bye from Krish